every perception is an open the portals of your mind kind of myth that all forms of life have feelings and can read minds. Recreating the experiments of primary perception guru Cleve Baxter, Grant and Tori are using a polygraph. Their first test is going to be on this plan. To help block out any accidental electrical interference that could affect the polygraph, like a cell phone going off or a plane flying overhead, they're going to conduct the test inside a shipping container. I'll take it into the container, which we know acts as a really good shield from a radio frequency interference. The camera crew, everybody else, will be outside. So all that camera equipment's going to be out there recording us remotely. Grant and Tori clear their minds. Let's go to our happy place. And become one with nature. Uh, there's definitely uh, a little deflection there. A little slap on the leaf caused the needle on the polygraph to move. Could it mean the plant is feeling fear and pain? The plant's kind of twitching. Because he knows what's coming. To up the ouch factor, Tori pulls out the heavy artillery. Oh, huge spike. The needle moved way more when the strength of the attack was increased. Each time we hit the plant with the fire extinguisher, the needle pinned. The boys are baffled, but move on to test if plants can read minds. This time, Tori's not going to touch the plant at all. He's just going to imagine hurting it. Think about something specific to this plant and I want you to really, you have to really intend to do it. Like, I am going to do this. I'm going to kick your butt. Ready? Uh -huh. At a good baseline, I gave it a mental picture, picturing it burning on fire. The needle jumps. Are you serious? <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no way. Tori had a thought and the plant reacted. What the heck was that? I don't know. Okay, you're not touching the plant. Is that correct? No, I'm not touching anything. All I'm doing is I'm staring it down and imagining it in flames. Is the Dracaena tapping into Tori's consciousness and terrified of being burnt? Okay, that's it for today. I mean, I'm not saying I believe this, but... Yeah, yeah. It's I, I... kind of hard to dispute the, the ink. Even engineer Grant, man of science, is taking off his skeptic cap. If I were to say that it was a random occurrence, there'd be some pretty amazing coincidences going on. It boggles the mind! They unboggle themselves enough to decide on their next move. They got some mind-blowing results, but moving and talking so close to the polygraph may have been causing vibrations that made the needle move. This time, they're going to repeat the ESP test, but with themselves outside the container. Jedi Tori sums up all his powers and shows no mental mercy. Attack one. Hard to tell what he's thinking. He could just be constipated. Attack two. Again, no idea, but he's obviously one sick, sick puppy. Attack three. Why is he smiling? Methinks Tori is enjoying this a little too much. We're running this experiment. I'm trying to keep the plant on its toes. I didn't want to just give it the same mental attack each time. Okay, that's 15 minutes. Okay. The guys compare notes, and Grant learns a lot about Tori's state of mind. Okay. At minute four to minute four, 45 seconds, I give it an angry attack. An angry attack is just I'm mad at the plant. I don't necessarily want to kill it. Minute five and 30 seconds to six minutes, uh -huh. I give it an evil attack. The evil attack, I'm ready to destroy it. So angry, you're just mad, but you're not going to hurt it. Well, I'm going to hurt it. I'm just not going to completely destroy it. At minute nine uh -huh. to nine thirty. Okay. It was a happy attack. It's a happy attack. <laughs> a happy attack is being really nice to the plant, hugging it, putting it in a nice greenhouse, making it feel wanted. 
His methods may have been a little kooky, but Tari meant serious business. So has his series of inspired attacks made a mark on the paper? Us inside of the container, 35% of the time, the plant responded to stimuli. With us outside of the container, 28% of the time, the plant responded to Tori's psychic stimuli. So there was less needle response with the guys outside the container, but still enough to keep Baxter's theory that all life is interconnected alive. Ooh, this is weird stuff, man.